The union that represents Fred Meyer workers is asking customers to stop shopping at the store. But if negotiations stall, a strike is still on the table. KZI 9 News reporter Chris Lewinberg has the latest on what customers have to say. The union's call for better pay has gotten the attention of some Fred Meyer customers. I've been unfairly paid before. Um, and it sucks. The boycott turning heads and raising awareness. I think it puts pressures on companies to change because their workers and the public are asking them to. The boycott is the first economic action the union has taken against Fred Meyer owner Kroger. But with strikes still on the table, they say it may not be the last. Union representatives say they aren't making a living wage and claim there's a gender pay gap within the company. Proposing the boycott ahead of negotiations starting Thursday might catch the attention of Fred Meyer owner Kroger. The membership is very frustrated. Union members are being prepped for a potential strike if negotiations fall through. We hope it doesn't come to that, but we always prepare for it because that is another economic action that you can take against the company. Hope that this Thursday and Friday will come back with a better offer. The grocer denying a gender wage gap and saying they are offering raises, also claiming boycotts and strikes actually harm employees. It doesn't help the negotiation process at all. And actually, a boycott against Fred Meyer can, actually, can, can hurt associates and their families and ironically help competitors, which uh, many of which rather are non-union. Customers we spoke to were in support of the workers, but none said they would commit to not shopping at the store. Despite the hesitance, they thought the strategy might be successful. I've seen it work before. I'm Chris Lewinberg, KZI 9 News.